Imagine this, a full 72 hours without using your phone. Sounds impossible, right? Well, that's the challenge we're talking about today. Before we go any further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. We are increasingly tethered to our smartphones, relying on them for everything from navigation to communication. But what if we could break free from this digital leash for a spell? That's the idea behind the 72-hour phone detox challenge. The concept is simple, yet daunting. For three days, you replace the digital conveniences of a smartphone with the analog simplicity of yesteryears. You trade scrolling through social media for gazing at the stars, swapping emojis for actual emotions, and trading the constant hum of notifications for the soothing symphony of nature. Now, imagine taking this challenge in a place designed to help you disconnect. Picture a place called Unplugged, an off-grid experience that promotes a tech-free stay. Nestled in rural locations, these cabins are solar-powered and eco-friendly, offering the perfect setting for your digital detox. But what does one do without their phone for 72 hours? Well, the possibilities are endless. You could go trekking, exploring the uncharted territories that often go unnoticed when we're stuck behind screens. You could indulge in wild swimming, feeling the refreshing embrace of nature. Or perhaps you could simply dine at local establishments, savoring the flavors of the region, engaging in conversations with locals, and embracing the forgotten art of being present. But what makes this challenge so important? What's the harm in using our phones anyway? Our phones have become an integral part of our lives. But excessive usage of these devices has some serious effects on our mental health. It's like we're caught in a digital whirlwind. And the more we try to keep up, the more we're swept away. Let's delve into some scientific findings. Numerous studies have shown that excessive phone usage can lead to sleep disturbances. The bright screens of our devices emit a blue light that can disrupt our natural sleep patterns. It's like tricking our brains into thinking it's still daytime, which makes falling asleep a real challenge. But it doesn't stop there. Our phones can also contribute to increased anxiety levels. The constant barrage of notifications, updates, and messages can make us feel like we're always on, always needing to respond. This constant state of alertness can lead to heightened stress and anxiety levels, making it difficult for us to relax and unwind. And then there's the constant urge to check various apps. It's like we've developed a digital tick, a compulsion to scroll, swipe, and tap. This constant connectivity can create an illusion of productivity, but in reality, it can lead to mental exhaustion and burnout. Moreover, our phones have become our go-to device for almost everything from taking photos to navigation. This dependence can make us feel lost without our devices, both literally and metaphorically. So we've seen how our phone habits can negatively impact our mental health, but how does a break from this technology help us? Taking a break from technology, especially our phones, can have some surprising benefits. Now let's delve into the wonders of a tech detox. First off, we have sleep. Yes, that elusive state of blissful rest that we all crave. When we're constantly staring at screens, our brains are bombarded with blue light, which can mess with our sleep cycles. During a tech detox, you'll likely find that your sleep quality improves. Without the temptation of one more video or one more scroll through social media, you can switch off and drift into a deep, restful sleep. Next, we have the benefit of reduced anxiety. Ever feel like you're on a never-ending treadmill of notifications, messages, and updates? That's because our phones keep us in a constant state of alertness. It's like we're perpetually waiting for the next ping or buzz. This can lead to increased stress and anxiety levels. By stepping away from technology, you're giving your mind a much-needed breather. You'll likely feel a sense of calm and relaxation that you haven't felt in a while. And then there's the greater appreciation for the world around us. When we're not glued to our screens, we start noticing things we didn't before. The rustling of the leaves, the patterns in the clouds, the laughter of a child playing in the park. The world is a beautiful place, and a tech detox helps you reconnect with it. During a tech detox, you'll also realize just how dependent you've become on your phone. For everything from taking photos to checking the time, we've become so used to having this little device at our fingertips. It's a humbling and eye-opening experience to realize just how much we rely on technology. Despite these benefits, going completely tech-free can be a challenge. But it's a challenge worth taking. Going tech-free for 72 hours is not an easy task, 
but it's an experience that can teach us a lot about our dependency on our phones. Taking on a tech detox is like stepping into the wild, uncharted territory of our own minds. It's a journey that can be as thrilling as it can be daunting. Picture this. You're in a remote cabin, cut off from the world of constant notifications and endless scrolling. Your phone is locked away and in its place, you have an old-school Nokia phone, a paper map, a compass, and an instant camera. It's just you, the world around you, and the quiet hum of nature. The first challenge you'll likely face is the realization of your dependency on your phone. One adventurer who took on the 72-hour phone detox found themselves constantly reaching for their phone only to remember it wasn't there. They realized how instinctive it had become to Google information, check apps, and take photos with their phone. This dependency was not just about the need for information or entertainment, but a habit, a reflex that had become second nature. The second challenge is dealing with the silence and the space. Without the constant buzz of notifications or the lure of social media, you might find yourself feeling restless, even anxious. But don't worry, this is normal. It's your brain adjusting to the lack of constant stimulation. Now navigating without Google Maps or looking up information without a quick search can be tough. One participant admitted to not fully completing the detox, highlighting the usefulness of smartphones for navigation and information. But remember, the aim of this challenge is not to demonize technology, but to understand our relationship with it and create a healthier balance. And finally, the challenge of a tech detox is also about facing yourself without the distractions or the filters. It's about reconnecting with nature, with others, and most importantly, with yourself. It's a chance to reflect, to breathe, and to simply be. So are you ready to take the 72-hour phone detox challenge? If you're ready to take the 72-hour phone detox challenge, here are some tips to get you started. Firstly, it's crucial to set clear boundaries. It's not about throwing your phone into the abyss and hoping for the best. Rather, it's about setting specific times when you will not be using your phone. Perhaps you could start with an hour in the morning after you wake up and an hour before you go to bed. This not only helps you to disconnect, but also aids in better sleep and relaxation. Next, plan some tech-free activities. Go for a hike, read a book, or indulge in some art. Engage in activities that you love, which don't require the use of technology. You could even try something new, something you've always wanted to do but never really found the time for. This is your chance to rediscover hobbies and interests that may have been overshadowed by the constant influx of digital content. Another crucial aspect of a successful tech detox is a support system. This could be friends, family, or even a dedicated group of people who are also on a tech detox. Having someone to share your experiences with, someone who understands the challenges you are facing, can be incredibly helpful. You could even turn it into a friendly competition. Who can last the longest without checking their phone? Finally, don't be too hard on yourself. If you find yourself reaching for your phone out of habit, don't beat yourself up about it. It's a process, and it's okay to slip up. The important thing is to acknowledge it and get back on track. Remember, the goal is not to completely eliminate technology from our lives, but to create a healthier relationship with it. Taking a break from our phones can be a daunting task, but the benefits are undeniable. We've explored the effects of excessive phone usage, the benefits of a tech detox, and the challenges that come with it. We've seen how our phones, while useful, can become a crutch affecting our sleep increasing our anxiety and keeping us from truly experiencing the world around us. The 72-hour phone detox challenge offers a way to break free. It's not about completely abandoning technology, but about resetting our relationship with it. During this break, you might find yourself noticing details you'd usually miss, sleeping better and feeling less anxious. And remember, it's not a one-time thing. Regular tech detoxes can help maintain a healthy balance between our digital and real-world lives. So, we encourage you to give this challenge a try. See how it changes your perspective, your mood, and your overall well-being. We hope you found this video useful. If you did, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to check out our calorie and protein calculator in the description below to kickstart and track your fitness journey. Before you go, thank you so much for watching our video, and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to turn things up a notch and quit social media for 30 days, watch the video on your screen next. Until next time, 
remember to take a break and unplug.